that my heart was in my mouth for her because her, her eyes just suddenly looked like that. Mm. Uh, no. Have oh. you ever done that? And, well, unfortunately, on a live programme, I forgot John Hurt's name, <gasps> which is terrible. And I have to tell you, it taught me the biggest lesson. It was back in the 80s, and it was a live Saturday night programme, big show. And I now, every single time, I write down the name of the person, even if they're my sister, and I write down their <laughs> and their title because you can just have that blank. Yeah. But I you know, think in Sharon's mm -hmm. case, it's jet lag. She's doing that LA for four days a week, back to do here the weekend. I don't know. Mm. You know, it, I, I have complete sympathy with her. The amount of times I st stand in front of my own children and go, <laughs> <laughs> and they say to me, "Mum, I'm not telling you." <laughs> But you, was, you were talking serious. earlier, who was it you were saying? The Osmonds, you were saying about they colour-coded oh, yeah, their socks. Oh, yeah, Donny Osmond, they're colour-coded. He's yeah. purple. He's got purple yeah, socks. Purple. And they call them by, you know, purple, you, purple. Right. <laughs> over here. My mum, I mean, we had eight kids, yeah. and if she'd get really angry and, you know, and she'd go through all seven before yeah. she'd get to my name. <laughs> and in the end, she still wouldn't remember. She'd just go, and whatever your name is, <laughs> <stop it." laughs> I was thinking I might have my children colour coded on their forehead then. Yeah. Maddie could be M for mauve, so I'd yes. have a mauve colour. Yes. And Kiki Kaki. 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 But it is that, that horrible. Would help I, that's happened to me while well, I'm mid interview with somebody. Yes. Um, and literally, it's just like someone's completely wiped you. You know who they are. Of You're course talking about you that. Yeah. Yeah. Search, and you suddenly go, What's her name? <laughs> what's, her name? <laughs> what's her name? And that panic. So that's why I said I saw that panic in Sharon's yeah. because yeah. you feel oh, your mouth your goes panic. dry and you think, I can't remember. Me. But don't you get that a lot? I mean, I don't know whether it's my menopause or I never get enough <laughs> sleep or whatever. But I have, at the moment, I'm having 20 blanks a day like that. And then I can feel Mark and the kids getting really irritated with me. And then that makes me worse and I blank even more. Mm. So if you think that's a live show. Yeah, you but know, my only thing with that, I have to say, because um, she did it last week as well. That's what yeah. I mean. She so got she her name wrong. She couldn't remember where, what country she was from, <laughs> all of that. So there was a part of me this week that I thought, don't do it again. Because this poor act. girl is in the sing-off again for the yes. second week and you still don't know her name. Yes. You know? No. I did feel a bit for the, yes. the girl, because she's meant to be on There's something about Sharon well. gets, she gets away with it because she's very funny, isn't she? Yes. And I saw her on Good Morning Britain Sharon. this morning and things. Yeah. And I think she, she just kind of talks her way around around it, but yeah. for the girl on the stage, you did feel for her, uh, didn't you? Yeah. Do you know how, you know how marvellous um, Alan Rickman is, right? And years ago, and again, I'm going back to sort of late 80s, early 90s, he didn't do any interviews, and he did one for us for Sunday Sunday. And so I felt as if I got to know him really quite well. And before Stephen and I got married, we were having a meal one night to let the traffic go, and he stopped by, and you're thinking, is Alan Rickman stopping by? And he said, oh, believe you're getting married. And he stayed for about 25 minutes and had a great chat about Helen Mirren and about Shakespeare. And as I got up, I went, honestly, Rick, it was so nice of you to drop by. And he went, <laughs> try, Alan. Oh. <laughs> Because, of course, I know. You end up I saying, bet. I know who you are. I've got a great comment here from Stacey, who says, my granddad called me Tracy the whole time he was alive, and I just learned <laughs> to answer to it. <laughs> oh, sweet. <laughs> now, I know there are loads of hilarious cat videos out there, but I promise these are even funnier. Take a look, if you don't believe me.